one thing that you are missing out on is that the chat GPT app can integrate with other apps on your computer. Oh, and so if like, if I have a file open in Apple notes, for example, yeah. I can let chat GPT see that file. How do you let it see that? Uh, if you're in the chat GPT app oh, yeah. at the bottom, there are five uh, little icons right below where it says, ask yes. anything. Yeah. The leftmost one oh, is yeah, a plus work sign with apps. That's Cor sweet. Correct. Just float over them. The leftmost I one is the plus it. sign that lets you attach content. Then you've got search oh, the web yeah. and then awesome. you've got deep research was a whole, which is a whole other thing to, yeah. to use, but working with apps, it's not, I've used it for coding. Uh, where I, yeah. I let it see my coding editor and it's fine, but it can't make changes to your code. It can, pro it can propose changes that you then have to make, That's but great. it can't make them, uh, which like, you know, um, GitHub's VS code, uh, yeah, yeah. with, the, with copilot can actually, it'll tell you, I think you should do this. And you look through it and you're like, yeah, go ahead and do that. Oh, and yeah. then it will make like it will it will just edit your code for you and show you the changes and all that stuff so it's not quite that it, it's a one-way uh thing with ch with the yeah. chat gpt app but it it works with with way more apps than i yeah, cool. would think like i need to just force myself to keep using it because yeah. it it works with more things than than i ever expected so i highly recommend that